Hello, and welcome back to the tutorial series. In episode 7, we will cover appropriate sizing and proportioning of creatures. We will start by addressing the problems with the size extremes of creations, or rather, what happens when you make creations too small or too large. Most of the problems you will face when making an over or undersized spine are going to revolve around the size limits on the parts you want to add. Heads and limbs don't usually have any issues with sizing upwards. These two usually only have problems when fitting small spines. Salubra will mention these issues briefly in episode 4, and as she suggested, checking the parts you plan on using at the beginning of a creation will help you appropriately size the spine. The parts you place on your creature also need to be sized properly, so as not to over or under emphasize certain areas of your creation. For example, you can move the focus away from a well-detailed head by putting oversized parts on the back or tail. Having said this, you can oversize certain parts to draw attention toward a certain area of the creature if you want, but as a general rule, oversizing parts is something to be careful of. You don't want to have the tail look like it will be drug on the ground when it's supposed to be able to be held off the ground. Undersizing parts, of course, has the opposite effect, as well as eating up complexity. You lose attention to areas where parts are too small. This is not to say that fine detailing should be ignored, but in fact encouraged as your skills develop. But making the wings of a bird or dragon too small means that it won't look like it can fly. Balancing the sizes of parts on your creation can be a difficult task. But it mostly has to do with making sure each part is not too large, too small, too long, or too short. It's something that will require the understanding of how creatures are built. Making the legs too thin to support the weight of a creature will make it less believable. Likewise, making the head too small will also make it look wrong. Putting all the weight at the front of a creature will make it look like it wants to fall forward, and putting all of the weight at the back of the creature will of course make it look like it wants to fall backwards. Distributing the weight of a creature is also an important part of creating a more realistic creature. This means sizing your limbs so that they look like they are able to hold up the creation without its legs breaking. It also means that you'll want to size parts to be proportionate to the rest of the creature. So you don't want them to look too small or too big. They should look like they fit the creature's physique. There are more advanced things surrounding proportion and how creatures carry their weight, but with this information, you'll be on your way to making more realistic creatures in no time. If you have questions, be sure and leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode on Saluvaral's channel, which will be released later this week.